work for Lockheed Martin, uh, doing working for the Orion spacecraft, and I've been with the Texas uh, Army National Guard for about 11 years. And since then, I've been working for the 1st of 149th uh, out of Ellington Field, flying Apache helicopters. Uh, within that role, I have uh, multiple roles. I've been an uh, operations officer, I've been an intelligence officer, and I've been a company commander uh, for Bravo Company, 1st of 149th. And now I transition to the space operations officer for the 36 ID. My, my career in the military as, a, as an Apache helicopter pilot and now as an engineer for the Orion spacecraft has a lot of similarities, right? It's very technical. Looking at it from both perspectives, the end user and the designer, uh, I'll be able to leverage those two experiences to make sure that I provide the best solution for the spacecraft. I worked on the uh, launch abort system, so the, the hatch for the launch abort system, how that uh, actuates in case of a, a abort sequence. And I also worked on the aft storage compartments, so kind of all the lockers that are inside the, the crew module for them to bring all their stuff that they need during these missions. And I also worked on the portable water system and the waste management system. So right now we're sitting in the commander and uh, pilot seat for the Orion spacecraft and you can see we have three displays in front of us. The display actually is a, it's a little bigger than the, the MPDs on the Apache um, but the buttons and the setup is exactly the same that we have it and we can flip through any of the pages just like the Apache, thousands of uh, different displays that you can bring in the Apache. Uh, you can do it here in the, in the cockpit as well in the Orion. So the Orion spacecraft is the, the NASA program for deep exploration compared to the, crew, the commercial crew where they, their mission is to go up to the International Space Station and back. Ours, our current mission is 21 days, go up to the moon, do two orbits and return back. As a space operations officer, I'm the, the advisor for the general on, on missile warning, uh, space weather, space control. Um, also we do PNT, which is position, navigation and timing, which is critical for all of the systems that we use in the field. Having a near-peer um, um, enemy, right, the capabilities are increased. You know, when we're dealing with Afghanistan, we have uh, people that probably don't have the capability to jam their GPS, don't have a satellite assets, uh, where some of our adversaries could have, you know, constellations out in outer space and how they can utilize that against us. So we, uh, we need to train for those events. We need to uh, enhance our capabilities for one. Your, your job and your skills could take you places and having that military background will actually enhance the possibilities of you getting those roles and, and I try to find the jobs and the responsibilities that kind of uh, bring the two worlds together.